Hi, my name is Jonathan Lord, and I'm coming at you from the Student Project Studio at Azusa Pacific University. And today, I'm going to teach you how to cut individual notes in GarageBand. In addition to being a great audio recording engine, GarageBand also serves as a full-fledged MIDI recorder and sequencer. One of the great advantages of MIDI is that it's a language that computers use to talk to each other musically. Uh, and one of the cool things it can do is you can go back and edit your performances even after you've recorded them, such as in edit individual notes and different takes. Let's take a look. Not only does GarageBand allow you to produce professional sounding audio, but it can also act as a full-fledged MIDI recorder and sequencer. MIDI is a language that computers use to talk to each other in order to create music. MIDI has several fantastic advantages over audio, including the ability to go back and edit notes after you've already recorded them. To do this inside of GarageBand, simply double click on any green MIDI region, which will open the MIDI editor. Here, you can scroll around and see all the notes that you played in your MIDI region. If there are notes you don't like and want to get rid of, all you have to do is select them and hit delete. Or, you can change them by either dragging them up and down to make them different pitches, or by dragging them left and right to adjust their timing and when exactly they occur in your song. Additionally, you can also select their velocity to make them either louder or softer, as well as quantize their note timing to make sure that they all line up and are perfectly in rhythm. Using these techniques, you can do just about anything in MIDI, uh, even creating new parts by penciling in new notes one at a time. Again, my name is Jonathan Lord. Thanks for watching this video, and have a great day.